New York Times sports columnist Bill Roden is here. Bill, good morning. Hey, how you guys doing? So the idea of destroying the cell phone was simply the straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, it had to stick yeah. with the original ruling. Absolutely. I mean, there's no way that you could see him the same way. I mean, no matter how much you love him, we've talked about this on the show. Respect him. Yeah. Great competitor. This, this is a game changer. This completely changes his legacy, which I thought before I knew, heard about this yesterday. You know, well, nothing could really change this guy's legacy because blah, 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 blah. But once you destroy evidence in any in any investigation i don't care where you are i don't care whether it's a children or a criminal event you cannot do this this now this is not about football anymore this is about almost borderline criminality and and and, and frankly the thing that surprises me is that this guy is still playing i mean you know really playing at all play, yeah i mean trust me if 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 I knew this and, and you asked me what would I do and I found out this guy had destroyed evidence, I mean, he's disrespecting the, the attorneys, some great attorneys. He's disrespecting the league. He's, dis, it's, he's disrespecting the game. He's basically saying that I'm larger than the game. You know, first, it's one thing to tamper with the footballs and that kind of stuff, and we trivialize that. You know, well, it's football. But now, not only is he, is, he tr is he playing tampering with that, he's tampering now with evidence, saying, uh, telling his, 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 his guys to destroy it. So, really... But he says he destroys his cell phones, Bill, on a regular basis, yeah, but so now the, they're going to appeal the decision. Well, well and, and, and you know what? You're going to keep on getting in deeper and deeper and deeper waters with this. There's really no coming back from this in terms of, quote-unquote, his legacy. Again, it doesn't matter how much you... And it doesn't but really, this is not it, over. Yeah. I mean, he's oh, going absolutely. to seek... He's going to seek an injunction that yeah. could allow him back on the field. Do you think he'll get that injunction? Um, it's, it's, it's possible. It's 50%. But what I'm saying is that no matter how this turns out, what, no matter what the NFLPA says, you cannot come back from this because you admitted it under some type of cross-examination that you, just, you, you did what? You destroyed the evidence. What were you thinking? What 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 evidence is? So you're is, saying is, that so, in the end, it's about reputation. It's not about whether he's suspended for four games or three games or two games. It's, cl it's, it's clearly reputation, but also it depends on how how hard the NFL. I mean, I, I swear they, they could, if if that right to, if tomorrow they said we're going to suspend him for the for the season, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would say, you know what, he deserves it. Mm -hmm. Right, Bill Roden. Thank you very much for joining us this morning.